So JP, my final question for you is, as we all know that networking is a key part for job seekers, we should all network. That's how we find jobs. But still, for some students, international students, or even immigrants, networking still is a challenge or they don't know how to approach or go to a room of so many strangers and speak with them or what am I going to speak with them or how I'm going to approach them. Do you have any tips in that sense? Yeah, first you need a why. You know, why do you want to connect with people in the first place? I feel like you're right. The way you described it, Maher, is we feel like we are supposed to do it, but we don't know why or how to do it. I think a great reason to network is to offer help or ask for help. Mm -hmm. So online, excuse me, offline networking, in person, how does it work? Well, it's getting to know other people, what's top of mind for them, what they're interested in, what they're working on. Uh, I love asking people, who do you help? How do you help them? Who's your favorite client? What kind of questions do you get from the people that you serve or you work with? This allows me to hear about their jobs in a very simple, concrete light. Sometimes I ask, what's the challenge that you're trying to solve? Mm. And it's fascinating to hear people describe what they do beyond their job title. Job titles are not that interesting usually yes. to hear about, right? You, don't, you wanna know what's underneath them. Um, so I let my networking be driven by my genuine curiosity to get to know people and who they serve. I think it also helps if you're willing to share your problems and your obstacles. Yeah. Uh, because then you can ask people for advice. I really think it's a, an exchange. You know, people are there to help each other. You may offer and know of a way that you can help someone and you may be candid and ask for help. Now, there are things you might not want to ask help for. For example, Meher, if I saw you at a networking event, I wouldn't ask you to help me find a job because there's no way you can help me find a job, yeah. right? It's much too broad of a question. I may ask you, listen, I'm really into uh, biotech. I'd love to meet with someone in biotech that has a project management role to ask them three questions about what's it like to work in project management in yeah. biotech. Then you have a better chance of helping me. Yeah. So I think that's a great yeah. uh, way of doing online networking, excuse me, offline, offline. networking. Switching to online, yeah. you can use some similar approaches that are more targeted in messages. I find myself, I'm pretty bombarded on LinkedIn. Uh, with messages from people who don't want to have a, a, a great exchange, right? Who are just looking for something from me. So I always recommend to people to email someone, take the time to find someone's email, message mm -hmm. them outside of LinkedIn, and you are more likely to get a response. I don't know if there's any official stats that prove that, but I find it to be a, a more thoughtful approach. Mm -hmm. And then when you message someone, show them quite early on that you're familiar with them, you've read their blog, you've yeah. read an article, you've yeah. read a post, you yes. know what they're doing, and you have a specific question for them. Mm. I know in my case, I love helping people, but when people ask me like, hey, let's meet, or hey, I need some general advice, often they haven't prepared or done research and they haven't set themselves up in a way where I can actually help them. Yeah. The exception is someone who's very prepared, has a specific question and reaches out to me. And I love helping people in that situation. Yeah. Whether we end up meeting, I send them a Loom video or I send them my thoughts through email. Uh, those are people that I really uh, love helping. So yeah. I think that if we look at networking as helping others and asking for help, uh, it's a more meaningful way to go through the process. I tell my clients that I'm helping or the students I'm helping, at least meet three people if you're meeting in person, three people in the in the room and ask questions about them. Or you can ask them, what's your intent from attending this event? Or ask curiosity question, as you mentioned, what are some of the challenges you're facing at work and things like that? If because and then follow up on LinkedIn because it's that's also important to do the follow-up because sometimes we forget the follow-up and build a relationship from there because it's a two-way relationship. And I tell the students that from day one till you graduate, that time is for you to build relationship, networking, put the seeds. And then when the time comes, then you can ask for a job. Yeah, and what do you, what, how do you build a relationship? For me, it's based on curiosity, mm -hmm. uh, you know, asking questions, asking for help, you know, yeah. uh, that, that would be a, a good way of doing it. And I really love the question. I'm just gonna repeat it, the question you asked, what's your intent for coming at this event? I asked that question too, Maher, mm -hmm. and often people don't know how to answer, but that's okay. 
doesn't mean it's a bad question to answer, but it forces people to be more purposeful and intentional. And sometimes they share very deep things about themselves. Uh, and you've got to be prepared to answer yes. too, right? What's your For intent sure. in going to the yeah. event? Yeah. And with that, my interview comes to an end, JP. I really enjoyed the conversation, very practical and direct to the point. And I hope the audience will implement some of the conversations we had. So over the last week, we've talked so many topics, so you can go and watch the videos. You can also like, comment, or reach us to our, to our socials on LinkedIn if you have any more questions. And again, JP, it was really nice to meet you and hope to see you in person in Ottawa soon. And bye, everyone. Let's keep in touch. Bye. Thank you for having me. Thank you.